Good morning. It's Eve Bloom. Signing in? Yeah. She has an appointment here this morning? Just one minute, please. do these live? Uh, well, it depends on how well you treat them. But I thought that plants just needed water and sunlight to grow. Do you give them special vitamins or something like that? Um, no. But they need you to pay attention to their needs. And if you listen, Listen really carefully. You'll know what it wants and when. So why did you bring it here? Because my car broke down on the way and it doesn't like to be in there alone. I don't think it likes to be in the hospital around all these sick people either. Seems sad. It's okay to be sad. As long as you're with somebody who cares about you. So, what happens if you forget to pay attention to it? Then... It will protest. And it'll also stop paying attention to you. Meaningless. Meaningless. Utterly meaningless. <laughs> Everything is meaningless. Bloom? Hi. Come on through. Sorry to keep you waiting. Wakey, wakey. Wakey, wakey. You are away. Easy. Easy. Don't get up too quickly. How do you feel? Hmm? Not great. Yes. Take your time. Hmm? somebody coming to click
Mum just got out. Just now? Yeah, sorry, the signal's always really rubbish in there. <laughs> well, that explains why I couldn't get through. What did they say? Is it anything serious, Eve? Um, no, no, nothing serious, as of yet. Uh, they actually, they want to run some more tests just to rule anything else out, so... I see. We'll see. <laughs> well, what did today's tests say? Well, the tests don't say anything per se, Mum. The doctors do. <laughs> and what they say, they don't mean, so... What do you mean? You need to take your health more seriously, you know. Yeah, no, I was just... Prioritise yourself for a change. Yeah. Are you taking all your supplements? Yeah, I... I am, Mum. I just... I don't know, maybe it's something else I need. Mm. Uh, anyway, um, how are you, Mum? You sound tired. Have you had your lunch yet? Yes, I'm just a little tired from yesterday. Yeah, of course, yeah. But I've just eaten, so I'll go and have a rest now. Good, OK. Um, oh. oh, sorry, Mum, my colleague's calling. I, uh, it could be um, something serious. I'll give you a call back, OK? Yes. Hi, Rebecca. Thanks so much for covering for me. Is there any complications or anything? Hi, Eve. Everything is fine here. How did it go? Is it anything serious? Uh, no, 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 it's nothing serious. It's, um... Actually, the tests are inconclusive. I see. Yeah, so, uh, the doctors are scratching their heads. <laughs> uh, but I'm sure we'll know with the next set of tests, so, yeah. I'm not worried. It'll be fine. <laughs> Uh, did you manage to schedule in a lunch break? Mm, yes, I just finished eating, actually. Oh, good. I'm surprised that the doctors are still unsure. Yeah. You know, Nick's therapist's wife is a specialist. She wouldn't mind providing some secondary professional advice. Do you want me to ask her? Uh... No. The last thing I need is more advice, actually. <laughs> so, um... I'll manage. I see. Listen, you haven't talked to Aaron recently, have you? Yeah, he came to see you yesterday after you left the clinic. He said that he wanted to return your plant, but he didn't leave anything here. Um, did you tell him anything? What do you mean? About your appointment today? He seemed to already know. Wasn't he supposed to? Uh, don't worry. <laughs> Don't worry, it's fine. <laughs> I'll um I'll see you later, okay? All right, thanks. Bye. What's with all the calls? Did you have an allergic reaction or something? God forbid. If it takes my favourite immunologist three calls to answer. What hope is there for my survival, hey? How are you doing? Uh, I'm doing splendidly, thank you. That's, uh, that's good to hear. Um, Peace Lily here is not in a good state. I wanted to drop it off to be reunited. Seven weeks of separation is way too long. How's the other one doing? It got tired. It got tired of waiting. So did this one. But it's incredible how patient they both have been. We should have kept them together all along. Um... Why are you calling? To see how you're doing. I'm back in the country and have cut down on work. My priorities are different now after a lot of soul searching. Your priorities? So you finally realise that working a 12-hour day isn't good for your sanity? I, uh, I realised the value of time. <laughs> How are you doing? There's no point in returning the other piece, Lily, now that mine is gone. If only you had better timing. Thank you so much, sir. You know, when we were first separated, this one preferred a darker spot for a while. And when it started accepting the light again, it felt that hope had returned to it. Hope can return at any time, you know. Yeah. Yeah, it sure can. 
few times at least. But what good did Hope do the poor thing in this case? Hmm? Listen, I... Better go, I'm already sort of lost out here. Look, you need time. I get it. Your grievances are completely justified. I now realise how neglectful I have been. I wanted to be there for your appointment today, but mm. didn't know where in the hospital you were. I wanted to ask you in person, but I see that you aren't ready for that yet, so... So how did it go? I don't feel the need to share anything with you anymore. That need... That need is gone. Today, I just had to part with that little shred of hope that somehow miraculously survived. Are you listening? Yes, for a change, I am. And I don't blame you for losing hope in us. There is something important I need to share with you, especially seeing as I may not get another chance. It's about a dream that I had the night before last. A dream? Yes. A mayfly whispered something to my peace lily which started to wither. I rushed over to your place where you were sleeping under a giant clock. Your peace lily was covered in mayflies but it kept flourishing. I looked back at you and all your hair was now grey. You looked, um, so serene. Peaceful, like I've never seen you. Can you hear me? Eve? Hello?